Gandalf. My event is on the way. Greetings and hello there everyone, it's me, your Middle Earth dad, Nooch Too Good, and I'm here today to talk about the Elrond event. It was announced today, Elrond's kit is out, we know the event is going to be Monday, June 26th, 8 a.m. Pacific Time, to Monday, July 3rd, 8th, so it's going to, for me, it's going to be 10 a.m., I will be here on June 26th, Monday, at, at 10 a.m. my time, immediately to unlock Elrond at 5, and then 6, and maybe 7 stars, you need to have five of the six elf characters. We're going to look at that in a second. Which elves should you use? Which ones are most accessible here at the beginning? Hey, if you're watching this well down the road, it may not be as much of a concern. But here on day one of the Elrond event, the question is, which elves are you going to use to unlock Elrond? And they corrected this. This was wrong the first time. In order to uh, progress, you'll, for tier one, you have to have you have to have to one star elves. Tier two needs two star elves, three, three star, etc. And you'll need to be at least level 30, and you can't unlock Elrond until you get a full team of five star elves. You need a full team of five star elves. You need five five star elves to unlock him. If you're gonna go to six stars, you need five six star elves, seven stars. You get the idea, right? So which elves are we gonna use to unlock Elrond? Which ones are the best at this point in the game to use? And the first point we need to make very clearly. Uh, Eladon is coming out later this week. Right now we have Arwen. You can see I've got Arwen at five stars. I did that on opening day. You guys are here with me. I have no more shards for her. If I'm going to get more shards for her, i got to spend some cash. you got to drop some dollars on Capital Games to, to get Arwen to six or seven stars. It'll be the same thing with Eladon, but you're going to have to have one of those two at at least five stars to get Elrond. So if you want to go minimum and just get Elrond at five stars, you got to have Arwen or you got to have Eladon. One of the two at five stars. I have Arwen. I will have Eladon as well. But what about these other four? So let's say, you, let's say you've got both Arwen and Eladon. Which one of these four can we eliminate that we don't need to farm to get Elrond? I think I have a pretty clear, a pretty clear answer to that. Let's start with Lomion. Should we eliminate Lomion or keep him? Well, uh, I'm thinking we're going to keep him. And the reason is, you can see I've got him at four stars right now. And I could probably, if I if I double or triple up on his node every day, because we find him in a regular energy node, if I double or triple this up, I can get I should be able to get him to five stars by the time the event gets here. I won't get him to seven, so we'll have to see if they give us another way to access his his character shards before the Elrond event or during the Elrond event. Maybe they'll give us a way to unlock the rest of those character shards to get him to six and seven stars. But right now, as it is, I think I can get him to five stars. And I've been farming Lomion since day one of the game. You know, he's early. I th where is he? He's light campaign 2-9. You can get that unlocked very early and start farming it early. It's really accessible. It's just that the regular energy farms are slower, are much, much slower than the cantina energy farms. So it just takes, it's more of a slog to get there. But you can, you can get Lomion done if you refresh that node once or twice a day. It's, it's... It's pretty low hanging fruit. So I'm going to say Lomion is a yes. I'm going to say Lomion is a yes. Let's look at Lelio. I, I, I don't want to give this away, but uh, <laughs> Lelio, uh, uh, Lelio is a little more challenging. Lelio is located, let me see if I can find her, in Shadow 3-9. Is that accurate? I think that's right. And she only recently moved there. She only recently moved there. There she is. She was previously, I think, in like 4-9 or down 4-9 or 4-9 of light or shadow. I don't know which one it was. So she just moved to this node here recently. And I'm going to kind of say that she's going to be the odd man out. For me, I've only got her right now. Um, I, three stars I can get there. I could probably get to four, four and a half stars if I need to. If we take a look at what she does, she's really kind of a tank, and she doesn't really fit in. If we if we if we really look at these Rivendell elves, right? They're all about they're all about uh, boons and removing banes and recovering health and uh, evading attacks and uh, and resurrecting from the dead. And she's more just kind of like a straight tank. She's doing damage. She's granting some defensive. She's granting stealth to everybody. So she's just really tanking for everybody. Now, stealth is a boon, I can give you that, and she's also granting some nimble along the way, but she doesn't really have an exciting kit. She doesn't do a lot in there, and honestly, the main reason I look at it is because her farm, her farm is 
the most difficult one to do because in that node i haven't been farming her since day one i'm not really gonna have her at five stars ready to go with the event so i think that if you get one of well you're gonna have to assuming you get well i guess for me if i get both <laughs> if i get both uh, uh, Arwen and Eladon, then I can choose to remove Lelio. If I don't, if I, if you pick one of them, if you pick Arwen or Eladon, and honestly, at this point, Arwen was released first. If you're going to be picking and choosing, you're probably going to pick Arwen at this point because you're already invested into her. Then Lelio becomes your tank in place of Eladon. The problem is, Eladon's kind of OP, we think. You know, you never know until they get to the game, but we think Eladon's going to be like a super massive OP tank who never gives up taunting if his abilities are upgraded. Kind of ridiculous uh, what he does. And he's giving, uh, it wasn't might, but he was giving, uh, oh man, I can't remember. He, he's making somebody have 50% more damage. It's, he, Eladon has a crazy kit and looks like he's just never, he may never die and he may never stop tanking for the team. So if you get Arwen and Eladon, you could probably drop out Leliel. Otherwise, you're going to have to have all five of these guys in here. Naramiri. Um, Here's the thing about Naramiri and El Ro here, and again, I wish I could like not click promote and just go search for him, but I can't, so I won't. But Naramiri and El, and, uh, El Ro here are both in the guild campaigns. Now they moved here recently, they moved here recently, but these guild campaigns, I can farm this node as many times as I want, every day, all day. And so right now I have El Ro here, I, I've got him, uh, I need, I've got him about halfway to seven star territory. I need to get to 500 here, I'm at 357. So I'm well on my way to getting him, uh, uh, to have enough shards for seven stars for him on El Ro here. Uh, just just to put it out there, I am not a free to play player. I'm refreshing this note three times a day. You get a lot of refreshes on it as well. So I'll have a row here, El Ro here there. And then, uh, I, I, can't, I, I can't remember the names. I'm, uh, what is her name? Naramiri. Naramiri's here as well. You can see I've got her ready to go to five stars. She's ready to go to five stars right now. Um, and, uh, and then I could take her part of the way to six stars even. So I've got her ready. Do I have her ready for that? 130, another 200. I, yeah, I'm getting close. To, so I'm going to have Naramiri probably also ready for seven stars on day one. So that's what I'm looking at. You know, there, again, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. If you're only going to pick one of Arwen or Eladon on, on, for this first time through the event, you have to pick one of them. You're not unlocking Elrond without Arwen or Eladon on your roster. And this is all discounting. We don't know how difficult the event is yet. It's possible, it's possible that you may not be able to really accomplish the event at five stars without Arwen and Eladon. We don't know yet. We'll find out next, next Monday, two Mondays from now when we get to the event. So if you unlock one of them and you're taking your chances at five stars, then you're going to have to use all four of these other ones. If you are going to unlock both Arwen and Eladon, then I'm thinking Leliel is just the odd man out. Very clearly, she's just, her farm is a lot longer. She's doing everything Eladon's already doing. Uh, there's no other healer in the group besides Naramiri. Naramiri will be the healer in the group. Your offense will come from El Ro here and Lomion. Uh, Arwen, and, Arwen will be supporting and making everybody awesome. And uh, Eladon will be tanking and uh, making everybody hit him instead. So there you go, guys. There are the elves that we got going. I'm saving all my resources. Saving all my resources for Elrond. If you look at this stuff, uh, I got 80 of these uh, blues. I got 32 of these. And it's, I'm sure this isn't even enough. I'm sure this isn't even enough. I've got 19 candles. I need a bunch more candles. I got 35 of these. I'm watching out for gear packs. I'm buying gear packs, everybody. Gear packs are the top of my list right now. But I'm going to need, I, I, if this is going to happen, I'm going to have to have a way to unlock Lomion shards if I'm going to get Elrond to seven stars. I'm going to have to look at the finances of it, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm very sure I'll be able to do six stars based on, the finances of it all. Taking these guys to seven stars, I really have to weigh out. I really have to weigh out how much money I'll end up spending to do that. But I'm here for you guys, and we'll be talking on stream, and, and you know, we'll see what happens on stream. If we get a little funding on there, it'd be nice. Uh, just, uh, yeah, that's right. I got my hat out. What do you want from me? Anyway, the guys, there you go. Those are the elves you're gonna you're gonna unlock to farm Elrond. Uh, I think I've gone over enough. I don't need to repeat it again. It's these five and Eladon, some some form of five of those elves to get Elrond. The event will be here Monday the 26th, 8 a.m. 
uh, Pacific time, 10 a.m. Central, which is where I am. Be here, be on the channel at that time, or be square. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to get all of our awesome content. Join my Discord. You see when videos come out, streams get posted. We're covering Galaxy Heroes in there, too, if you're playing Galaxy Heroes. Lots of fun in the channel, lots of fun in the Discord, lots of fun in general. Hey, I hope you have lots of fun in your life. I will see you soon, and always remember, Nooch too good.